So what is going on everybody? Fernando Silva here with another video and in today's video we have an accessory that I would say is probably one of the most unique ones that we've seen and you guys are going to be able to see with my other camera behind me exactly what we got going on. But before we get started, leave a comment down below about your favorite, maybe your most memorable or your most unique accessory that you've ever gotten for your laptop, for your iPad, for your, you know, your iPhone or any phone that you use. Let me know in the comments below. I'm always very, very curious because this one, like I said, is one of the most unique ones that I've ever seen. But without further ado, let's see exactly what we got with this tri-screen accessory by a company called Quumsy. They did send it over, but I did tell them that I'm gonna give them my honest review, my honest feedback, because I wanna see exactly if these things are worth it, because they aren't that cheap. But let's get into it. Okay, everybody, so here we have it. The Quumsy P2 Pro tri-screen notebook expansion screen. So as you can see, it's basically built on one laptop and then you have two side screens that kind of go off of it. You have HD 1080p, 60 hertz, 2200 CDM squared. I don't really know what that means. I think it's a brightness thing. And then 1001 contrast ratio. So if we turn around to the back, again, this is kind of hefty. So I think this is gonna be very quality, but the P2 Pro is an external portable and foldable laptop dual screen display with a stand. It's pretty self-explanatory. You get the actual host, you get the USB-C to USB-C cable, you get two of those, and then you get a USB-A to USB-C, you also get two of those. But let's open this up and see exactly what we got going on. So again, so far, really, really happy with the quality of the packaging. Very, very, again, black, nice aesthetic, nice corners, heavy, nice paper. And now to open this, it's gotta be with just magnets. Yep, pop this open. You're greeted with absolutely nothing. And then you move this out of the way. It's kind of like a soft foam little thing. And then let me know what you guys think about this camera angle over here. But this is soft foam. And then here it is. So we grab this and let's see how hard this is to actually grab out of here. Cause it seems like it's gonna be kind of heavy. So this thing, okay, so far pretty hefty. But let's move it out of the way. See what else is in the actual box itself. And again, you have all the cables that you would need. It looks like a little carrying case made of felt. Looks a little small. Oh, there we go, it unfolds twice. So a little carrying case for the actual device, some paperwork, and then all the cables that you need. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go set this thing up and see exactly what we're dealing with. So now that we've unboxed this amazing product, the next thing to do is to actually set it up, right? And there's two actual steps that you have to do to set it up. First is actually the physical setup, right? Because this thing, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a little bit clunky, it's heavy, it's made out of plastic, kind of like a soft touch plastic, very similar to, I would say, some Apple products, honestly, but it is very, it is pretty heavy, like it's not very, it's not super light, because again, you have two 13.3 inch screens flanking your main screen, and then on top of that, you have to have the actual piece on the back, which houses those screens when it's folded up, so it is a little bit heavy. It's gonna more than double the actual weight of whatever computer you're using, or at least double the weight of a MacBook Air. With the MacBook Pros, it might be a little bit different because those are a little bit heavier than the MacBook Air, but that is what you're dealing with from a screen size and kind of like a heft situation. But then to set it up is actually pretty easy, right? All you do is you unfold everything. There's a button on the top that kind of unlatches the whole thing. So it does fit up to that 16 inch MacBook Pro, if that's what you guys are rocking. And then you slowly clamp it together. And then on the back of it, there's a little stand. Because like I said, with the heaviness, especially with the MacBook Air, which is like the lightest MacBook that Apple makes, it's gonna tilt backwards, right? If you don't have that stand up, your laptop is gonna either tilt backwards or it's gonna tilt forward and close the screen on you. So a little kickstand, I love the implementation of it. It's very useful, very easy to kind of put away, lengthen, make sure you have the right angle. So that's always good to go. So once you have it physically plugged in and installed, you're gonna wanna install one of the two USB-C cables that they're brought in. So this is not a Thunderbolt screen, this is a USB-C screen. You're gonna see two ports on the back. One is for the USB-C and one is for the actual PD pass-through. So you can plug this in directly into a wall, and it'll not only pass through the video and audio, but it's also gonna pass through some power onto the MacBook Air. So once you have it physically set up and connected to your laptop, you're gonna notice that immediately when you plug it in, it's not gonna work, because M1 processors were not built to work with two secondary screens. So what they did to actually bypass this is that there's actually a tiny little micro SD card inside a micro SD slot on the device itself. Now, with my specific situation, 
my laptop actually did not read that micro SD. So what I had to do was pop out that micro SD card, put it into one of my USB-C hubs, and then plug in my USB-C hub into my MacBook Air, and then the SD card was readable. And inside of the SD card, there's an application or software called Instant View, which allows you to actually use both displays with your M1 product. Because with the M1, it does not support dual monitors, at least not natively, which again is very, very annoying. But with this Instant View application, you can do that not only by using both screens separately, but you can also mirror those displays as well. Because Quumsy does actually promote this to make it seem like you can give presentations as well. So you have your main presentation that you're using on your main screen, but then you have the folded trifold. Let's say you're in a conference room with a bunch of people, you can show off exactly what you're doing to everybody there without having to have like a giant TV up on the wall or like another secondary screen. So that's nice to see. But once you have it actually set up, installed in terms of instant view and set up physically, then it works as advertised, right? It works as if you have two secondary monitors on flanking your main screen and it works exactly as advertised, right? You wanna make sure that you have your screen arrangement set up in order for it to work. But overall, you're dealing with something that's about 1,700 grams, so almost so 1.7 kilos. So it is heavy. I think that's about, off the top of my head, maybe 4 pounds because it's 2.2 pounds per kilo. I think that's what it is. Check my math on that. Leave it down in the comments below. And then you have two 13.3-inch screens, which are a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. At first glance, they look a little wider than your actual Mac computer screen, but I think that's just because of the way it's set up. But overall, it's the same exact size. You will notice that the screens are a little bit dimmer. They're a tiny bit dimmer than the actual display that you have on the MacBook Air, but the M1 MacBook Air display is freaking amazing, so it's hard to really compare and compete with that. And then you have a 1000 to 1 contrast ratio, and lastly, you have about 60 hertz. So this is not a 120 hertz display, but at least you get 60 hertz, right? So it's better than a 30 hertz display or anything like that. So if you do want to do a little bit of gaming on it, by all means, it'll work. And then Quumsy does kind of show off a couple different use cases in terms of how you want to use this, right? So this is the main view, which I'm the one, this is kind of how I'm going to use it most of the time. But then, like I said, you do have that tri-screen fold, which is dual screen. You put them at 45 degree angles and you can kind of show off everything that's on your main screen. But then they're also marketing it as a vertical standalone screen. So you can actually lay it down, set it vertical. So if you are somebody that uses a vertical screen, which I'm not a person that uses vertical screens as cool as they look, I've never really found a use for it, but you can do that if you do need to just use one of them. Because you do have the ability to only use one of the two screens if need be, if you are in that situation. And then the beautiful thing about this device is that it doesn't discriminate, right? You can use it with Mac OS like I showed you. If you're using a non-M1 MacBook, then you don't even have to worry about Instant View. And then it does work for Windows, it works for PCs, it works for Samsung DeX, it works for anything that you can plug a USB-C cable in and then actually push video out to it. So it's not just for Mac computers, which is good to go. And obviously, you can physically put it on the iPad Pro, because I did try, but the iPad Pro doesn't support dual monitors and the only times it does support a secondary display is when it mirrors it. So for an iPad Pro, Sadly, I probably wouldn't use it quite yet because it's not really worth it, but for Mac OS, for any Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer, for Samsung DeX, I think that's a great use case. Just bring yourself this and a little Bluetooth keyboard and you have your, you know, your Note 10 5G or anything that has Samsung DeX built into it. It's a great little scenario. But overall, I'm a big, big fan of this situation because again, you're able to bring another 13.3 inches twofold in a relatively small package. Yes, it's gonna add a little bit of weight to it. Like I said, it's about four pounds that you're carrying on top of your laptop. But you tell me another situation where you need that extra screen real estate without having to bring a whole, you know, BenQ monitor, like having to bring a secondary monitor with you that isn't meant to travel with you. At least this is meant to travel with you. It brings that little microfiber cloth case. You know, it brings both cables that you would need, both for power and for video output on the device themselves. You can adjust the screen brightness, the contrast on here, just like any other external monitor. And for an on the pinch, like if you're somebody that works at a co-working space like a WeWork, or if you're somebody that works you know, at a Starbucks or at a different coffee shop, and you just need more screen real estate without having to take up a lot of space in your backpack, and without really bothering a lot of people around you, then I think this is one of the better solutions. Because like I said, even if you're in a tight little pinch and you don't have the room to do all three monitors, you just fold one back and then you're good to go and you can just use a secondary one, which is so, so nice. But overall, like I said, shout out to Quumsy for sending this over. I really, really like it. I do recommend it. They are on sale. I believe it's like 450 or 500 bucks, which again is a little bit steep, but if you are the type of person that needs this, then essentially you're paying $250 for each screen and it all kind of synchronizes together all in one, one nice little package. Like I said, it's a little bit heavy, a little bit clunky is the word that I would use to describe it, but I see the workflow. I see the benefits outweighing those kind of cons that I've just mentioned. And I just like it if you're somebody that is a on-the-go workhorse that needs a lot of screen real estate and can't just survive with Sidecar. And they need a little bit more than Sidecar from their iPad to use as a secondary monitor. But that's gonna do it for this video. This was awesome to test out. I definitely wanna test out more accessories like this because these are unique. You don't see these a lot. And 
I see myself using this a ton because for my main job, I actually do go to a WeWork every now and then. So bringing this with me is going to be very, very clutch. And it definitely beats bringing, like I said, a secondary monitor or having this weird setup where you start to make people feel a little bit uncomfortable when you're taking up like an entire table that's supposed to be shared with people. But that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. Do you think this is overpriced? Do you think it's priced correctly? Do you think it's a no brainer and you're going to buy it right away? I'm going to leave a link to their website in the description below. Again, they did send it over, but they're not seeing this before you guys. So this is my honest review, my honest opinion. And like I said, I like it a lot. But until next time, guys, I'm out of here.